Do you want to know how long your dog will live? Well, it's in his telomeres. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Your dog has 39 pairs of chromosomes, and chromosomes are threads of DNA, and they're found in all of your dog's cells. Now, at the end of each chromosome is a stretch of DNA called a telomere. Think of telomeres as the hard ends of shoelaces. It's the telomeres that protect the ends of your dog's chromosomes and stop them from unraveling. Now, as your dog ages, her telomeres shorten, and the older the dog, the shorter her telomeres. Stress, lack of activity, obesity, poor nutrition, and chemicals can all shorten telomeres too. So the length of the telomere reveals your dog's biological age. Now, once the telomeres are gone, then the cell that it lives in will do one of three things. First, it can self-destruct, and this is called apoptosis. Second, it can go rogue or become cancerous. Or third, it just retires or becomes senescent. Now, if your dog's immune system is functioning well, then it can pick up and destroy the cancerous cells. The body's constantly living with cancer and it's well equipped to deal with it. But senescent cells are a problem for your dog. One bad apple can ruin the whole cart and that's exactly how senescent cells cause inflammation. They hang around the body and they release toxic chemicals. And these chemicals start to stick to surrounding healthy cells, causing them to become senescent or cancerous. Now, the accumulation of senescent cells creates a large amount of inflammation and it's a major cause of disease and aging. In fact, a 2019 study showed that removing senescent cells from the hearts of old mice restored their heart health and reversed cardiac aging. Now, right now, there's not a whole lot you can do about senescent cells, but you can limit the amount of inflammation that they cause. Ozone therapy is an important NRF2 activator that reduces inflammation in the body. And cruciferous veggies are really rich in sulforaphane, which is the second most potent NRF2 activator that we know of. The sulforaphane content is highest in young plants and in broccoli. So give your dog broccoli sprouts with every single meal, along with other cruciferous veggies. Researchers found that adding greens to your dog's meals just three times a week can significantly lower his risk of cancer. Now, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and we're always here to help. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.